What lives in this hole? What lives in this hole? Focus question. What do you learn about birds and animals that live in them? My first post. I found I found a big hole in the ground two months ago on a hike. I thought it was the opening to the animals' burrow. I had no idea what kind of animal lived there, though. I took a picture with my phone and asked my teacher if she knew. My teacher taught me how to research to find the answer to the to my question. Before long, I started blogging. Every week, I research the burrows of one animal. I post my work on our class blog. Some of my classmates have started blogging too. Check out my blog post. Saying, do you know desert turtles? Burrow can be up to 1.8 meters deep. Some are only a little bigger than the tortoise shell. Staying cool. A desert tortoise le- lives in this hole. This reptile lives in the desert. It can only stay alive by digging a burrow to escape the heat. The desert tortoise spends almost all of its life underground. It sleeps all winter to stay warm. Wow, wowzer. A glass bird eating spider is the biggest spider in the world. Keeping eggs safe. A huge spider lives in this hole. The glass bird eating spider lives in a deep burrow. It may dig its own burrow or use one that another animal no longer uses. A female stays in her burrow for most of her life. She lays around 50 eggs in a little soak bag. She takes the bag with her if she leaves the home. Making a nest. This hole belongs to Atlantic puffins. These birds spend most of their life on the open o- ocean. They use their strong wings and webbed feet to fly and swim. Puffins swim much better than they fly. Wowzer! Adult Atlantic puffins have brightly colored bills during the breeding season. These, their nickname are sea parrots and crowns of the sea. Atlantic puffins raise their chicks in a burrow. They dig the burrow on a cliff near water. They line the burrow with seaweed, plants, or feathers. Puffin parents take turns caring for a single egg until it catches. Then one pre- parent leaps to get small fish to feed the chick. The other parent keeps the chick safe. Wazer. The tunnels of one necked mold wreck colony can cover as much land as 20 football fields, living in the dark. Neck mole rats live in this hole. These small animals spend all of their lives underground in the dark. Small hairs on their face and tail help them find their way. They dig tunnels to find roots and other plant parts to grow. Neck mole rats work as a team to build their tunnels. One animal breaks new soil at the front of the line. Behind it, several others use their feet to move dirt backward. A worker at the back kicks the dirt up to the surface. Other parts of the tunnels have different uses, such as food storage or nest areas. Hiding and laying eggs. A Japanese giant salamander lives in this underwater hole. It lives in cool mountain rivers and streams. During the day, it hides in a burrow or under. Rocks. At night, it comes out to hunt for food. Wowzer! Japanese giant salamanders are huge. They can grow as long as 1.5 meters. In late summer, males and females come together at long burrows. Females swim under the burrows to lay their eggs up to 500. A male watches the eggs to make sure no fish eat them. Wowzer! A wombat's burrow may be as long as three school buses. Staying cool. A wombat lives in this hole. It takes a burrow with its huge claws. Wombats stay in their burrows during the day. At night, they come out to feed one plant. Plants. Pe- feed on plants. They run to their burrow if an enemy chases them. They may also protect themselves by fighting. Do you know? Animals on every continent live in burrows. Burrowing sea urchins live in ar- Enter Antarctica. More to come. So far, I've looked about animals hosts on six continents. Are you wondering about Antarctica? I just learned the sea urchins live in burrows there. Check back soon for a past.
host about it. I'm going to keep doing research on animals that live in holes. It is so fun to learn about the natural world.